the Spartans of Norfolk State University and your Delaware State University, Hornets! It's time now for the playing of Rip Every Boy, followed by our national anthem sung by DSU alum, Leandra Johnson.
Yeah. Well, and, and that's the key, getting them to play. As I say, sometimes we look better on paper than we do on the court. Mm -hmm. You got to make sure that what's on paper translates to, you know, to on-court play. So, um, but nonetheless, I still think they have a really good team. It's about chemistry and coming together, and particularly when you kind of inserted a bunch of new parts, and they've done that, just that. Uh, however, they have some pieces that played last year. So, you know, at this point in time, it's now about just kind of putting it together. And when, once you're in the game, you got to find a way to close. The official sponsors of HSRN are American Spirit Federal Credit Union in Middletown, Dover, and Newark, Symphony Potato Chips, Fred Drake Automotive, America's Mortgage Coach John Millette, and Magic City Tickets. Glad you're along with us here on this Saturday afternoon. We'll extend it into evening. Big sports day around the country as well. But for us right now, there's nothing more important than what we have in this game here with Delaware State trying to get their first win of this 2021 season. In the standings, of course, there are five teams in the Northern Division as they've split it off this year. Coppin State sitting at 2-0 and overall. Morgan State, Norfolk State at 1-1. One one. Delaware State at 0-2. Uh, at, uh, Howard hasn't played a conference game yet. In fact, they have uh, gone 1-4 and four overall. Pinky Wiley for Delaware State needing just 34 points to uh, join the 1,000-point club. Forecasting ahead, I, I figure that'll come sometime uh, right at the end of the month when we're over in D.C. at Howard. But right now, opening tip controlled by Norfolk State. They're in the green, dark green uniforms. Gold numerals, Delaware State in the pale blue with red numerals. And we're underway. Norfolk State working the ball around, trying to get inside with it. They go to Joe Bryant, Jr. He sends it back on out to Devontae Carter. Carter goes right side to Chavis. Now they go inside underneath, layup off the glass, misses on the shot by uh, Estrafio, Estratios Calajaris. Calajaris. Pinky Wiley on the attack for Delaware State, setting it up, getting it off to Zach Kent. Back over to Wiley. Kent from top of the key, wants three, hits off the rim. Loose ball. Oh, and DeMarco Balkum with a good move in between two Spartans to take that ball away and get it back for the Hornets. Miles Carter now on the left side. Carter works around the top of the key. Sets up on the right side. Jumper for two. That's his shot, that mid-range action there. He gets a great job in elevating. Getting off a good one. Hornets go up 2-0. Just a little over a minute into the first half here. Here's Calagarius for Norfolk State. Off to Devontae Carter. Carter gives it on the right side to Joe Bryant Jr. He takes it in. Takes a shot, it misses, comes back out to Keonze Chavez for Norfolk State. Over to Tyrese Jenkins. Jenkins gives it back to Chavez. Chavez works to the right side. Chavez trying to get inside on position. Can't do so. Kicks it out to the right side, misses. Rebound by Tyrese Jenkins, and he ties the game. Yeah, giving up an offensive rebound, and the defense is pretty solid, though. Just got to clean it up with the, with the rebound. Now Delaware State down court. Wiley trying to work it. Down inside, does so. Turnaround jumper missing for Ron Lucas. Norfolk State working it through. Underneath, shot missed. We have a whistle and the first foul of the game. 23. That's going to be Shaft Clark. 30, 32. Yep. Yeah, 32. Miles Carter. Miles Carter. Yep. Yeah, we've given up, you know, two big offensive rebounds here in these last two possessions. Defense has been solid, but they got to find a way to rebound. Sometimes we get caught standing around and nobody is running towards the ball. Got to get those loose ball rebounds. Jim O'Brien Jr. shooting one and one and hits the first.
And his second shot is good as well. So it's a 4-2 lead now for Norfolk State after the two foul shots. For Delaware State, DeMarco Balkum will send it back to Pinky Wiley. Wiley to the right side to Kent. Kent gives it back to Wiley over on the right side. He shoots for three, off the rim, up high, and taken for Norfolk State by Jenkins. Jenkins, top of the key, moves inside, sends it on the right side to Chavez. Chavez into the lane, sends it out to Jenkins on the left. Jumper, missing. Rebounded for Delaware State by Ronald Lucas. Ah, uh, turned it over. And gave it right back to Norfolk State. Wall by himself on the right side. Devontae Carter with a jumper. It misses. Scrap for the ball underneath. Comes out loose. Back out to Norfolk State. Shot by Chavis over top of everything missing. Offensive rebounds. They gave him about four on that particular possession. Wow. Yeah, Zach Carter uh, checked out uh, Zach Kent. I think his hand got stepped on. Yeah, went down, laying on the floor. And Ron Lucas called for a foul. That'll be the second team foul. And the trainers to uh, Kent getting up. Yeah, I think it's, he might have got stepped on his hand when he fell there. Coach Eric Skeeters comes out to check on it. It's not the shooting him. hand, though. You're going to see if he can just kind of yeah, walk this off. He's going to have to come out of the game. Anytime you stop the contest, right. um, player has to come off the floor. Walked off okay. I thought for a moment that, that uh, he just went down hard and maybe banged his leg. We'll see as the trainer works uh, I tell you, to him on the sideline. I tell you, you look at, you look at Norfolk State's team, man. They got a lot of length here. The guards are pretty big. Most of the guards are 6'3", you know, 6'2", 6'3", 6'4". And, um, you know, they're doing, early on here, they're doing a really dynamic job on the offensive glass. So the Hornets have got to figure out how to get the rebounds. Tyrese Jenkins hitting that foul shot. He was coming into this game four for eight from the line. And so uh, he uh, picks it up here. I think this is a really good looking team, man. I've watched him play a couple of times this year. They're just as good as any team is in the MEAC this year. He makes the second as well. Yep. So it makes it a uh, six to two game. Hornets went out in front, but now Norfolk State has come up with a six point scoring run on Delaware State. Now it's Wiley. Sending it to the left side for Miles Carter. Carter back out to Wiley, out at center court near the logo. Now he works to the left side. Sends it across to Amir Bennett. Bennett inside and gets two. It's a good shot. It was good to see him take a step in and take that mid-range. Stepped into the lane and took the jumper. Chavis with the ball on the right side, sends it over to the middle of the Bryant. Back over to the left side to Carter for Norfolk State. Spartans trying to set it up and work around. They'll send it to Caligarius. Now shot from the right-hand corner, looking for three off the rim. And it was Lucas on the rebound for the Hornets. Chance to tie things up here with 15.45 left in the first half. Lucas, try, or Carter trying to dribble behind his back, lost it. Norfolk State with the takeaway. Caligarius inside, short shot, got two. Gotta be careful they don't let this get away too early here. Get some good shots here. We need a good one right here this time. Yeah, that turnover down there hurt. They had a chance to tie it up, and now they're back down by four. Here's Amir Bennett. Good feed inside underneath to Ron Lucas. Good job on the high low there from, from Bennett to Lucas. Lucas finishes at the rim. Eight to six. Lucas right underneath to take that pass. They try to Norfolk State trying to go down in the right corner to Chavis. And the pass was errant, went out of bounds, and it'll be a turnover. It'll be a turnover to Delaware State and a media timeout here with 15-10 left in the first half. Norfolk State 8, Delaware State 6. Putting the, the U Good Brothers, proud alumni here. of Delaware State University and an even prouder sponsor of DSU Athletics. Follow them on Instagram at The Good Brothers LLC. Chef JJ and Chef Gamble are proud to bring you a unique meal each week with a variety of combinations and tastes from the Caribbean. It's a bite you won't regret. Hey, Hornet fans, please remember that our friends at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Dover on Route 10 near Dover Air Force Base are here to help you with your hotel needs at a discounted rate. 
Call them at 302-674-3800 or go online at the Delaware State University Hornets page to set up a reservation for a clean and comfortable night. Stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and YouTube for day-to-day updates on everything MEAC. Also use the hashtag RespectTheMEAC and hashtag MEAC Nation to see your post reposted. For more information, visit MEACSports.com. Get in on the basketball action all season long with sports pick from the Delaware State Lottery. Visit a Delaware Lottery sports retailer or casino sports book today to place your pro and college basketball wagers. Don't miss your chance to make every game a big game with sports pick from Delaware Lottery. Visit DELottery.com to find a sports pick location near you. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Must be 21 or older. It will be Norfolk State's ball. I thought that it, they threw it out of bounds, but apparently it was, it was deflected by Delaware. Yeah. yeah, deflected out of bounds by the Hornets. 15-10 left in the first half. Norfolk State leads by three. Two, Devontae Carter with the ball. Down in the right corner to Mustafa Lawrence. Lawrence hits a three. Comes into the game cold and hits it. Yeah, this is this. Walk right in the game and hit a three. 11 to six. As Wiley now on the right side, setting things up for the Delaware State Hornets. Gets it up to Martez Robinson. And that freshman has had a good season so far. Miles Carter through traffic into the lane and around defenders. They thought they had him blocked and he did a reverse on it and put it up and in, 11 to eight. This kid does a dynamic job, man. He has such body control. We watched him come on last year from the beginning of the season where he didn't get much time to where he was an essential part of the offense by tournament time. And he has a starting role this year. Now as uh, Devontae Carter drives into the lane, we have a foul. Amir Bennett gets his first. That's three on the team now. Devontae Carter at the line for Norfolk State. 52, 53% shooter from the line coming into this game. 30 of 57. He's now 30 of 58 after missing that first shot. Yeah, he's one of the front runners for them, averaging right at about 14 points a game, three rebounds. So they look for him every night to, um, to kind of lead the way scoring. A lot of transfers out of uh, other schools to this Norfolk State team as... Carter misses both shots, and the Hornets grab the rebound. Robinson inside to Kent. Kent tries to feed down to Bennett. It's taken away by Norfolk State on the fast break. Mustafa Lawrence, cross court, top of the key. Keyshawn Hicks going to be called for traveling. Got him for steps. I mean, quite a few. <laughs> yeah. If you got that many steps legally, I could have played this game. But I just could never get the dribbling and the running together. You took all running. <laughs> but if you could have done that, I, I'd have been, I'd have been pretty decent if you didn't have to dribble. Hornets now with the ball after the turnover. Martez Robinson with Miles Kent as Pinky Wiley gets a breather. That's why Robinson's in right now. Here's Amir Bennett, top of the key, shooting for three, missing. Miles Carter going for the rebound and gets fouled. Yeah, this foul is on number three. Uh, it's going to be Mustafa Lawrence. Kind of got to give him, if a guy jumps, got to give him room to come down, a landing place. And he just kind of stuck, on, kind of jumped underneath. Yeah, Carter was unable to come down cleanly. Fortunately, uh, no harm done in his landing. Good feed inside. Bennett tried to go up. He got blocked out, put it up, and it came off the bottom of the backboard to Norfolk State. Good defense there by the Spartans. Good move all the way through by Kashawn Hicks as he took it all the way down and got the layup. So he's a pretty impressive young man, too. Comes off the bench, averaging right at about 10 points a game. 13 to 8 now. Robinson out near center court for the Hornets. Looks to the left side, works to that side. Now passes it back out. Zach Kent wants three. Bounces it off the backboard. It rolls around the rim and comes back out to Norfolk State. Thought he had three on that one. Here's Carter. Got him on the carry there. They got him on the carry. Another turnover to the Hornets. 
Coach, you got Zach Kent, uh, 6'10", forward, shooting from outside the arc. Now that's a couple shots. Uh, would you rather have him inside? I mean, you want him to at least get himself going, you know, get a couple shots, more high-percentage shots before you start just kind of chucking it up from behind the arc. But he can shoot it, though. He, has he does. Got a, his touch is just as good as anybody on his team. Now it's Kent with the ball, goes right side. And Robinson. Robinson steps back, works toward the center of the court on the right side. Uh, back over to Kent. Down inside and in for Amir Bennett. It's good and ball it, movement by the Hornets there. Yeah, very patient and worked it inside nicely. 13 to 10 contest here with uh, 12.33 left in the first half. Mustafa Lawrence down in the right corner to Jalen Hawkins and a whistle. We're it was tough get... there. I thought, I, thought, I thought that's Miles Carter, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah. You got it. It's a second. It's a tough call there. I thought he beat him to the spot and um, just didn't get the call, though. Possession foul, so Keonze Chavez will inbound the ball for the Spartans. Sends it in to Hicks. Kashawn Hicks backs up. Gives it off on the right side to Chavez, who takes it around the middle, over to the left side to Lawrence. Mustafa Lawrence now trying to work around, being guarded by Dominic Fregala. Shot, mm. jumper for three, missing. Hornets rebound. Going up high to get it, Martez Robinson. Off to Wiley on the right side. Back to Robinson. He tries to work inside, sends it over to Wiley, saves it from going out of bounds on the left side. Back to Kent in the middle, back over to Wiley. They go inside Bennett. Back over to Wiley. He wants three from the left corner. He drains it. That's great ball movement. That's good inside, outside action. That's great basketball there. And Hornets off to a superb start here. Even at 13 now with 11.35 left in the first half. Left side is Lawrence. Guarded by Fregala. He gets it off now to Hawkins. Hawkins goes inside, loses it out of bounds, turns it over to Delaware State, and a timeout with 11.24 left in the first half. We are tied at 13 at Delaware State University. Putting the U in HBCU, we're HSRN. Want to give your child something they'll never outgrow? Make a contribution to a DE 529 savings plan today. For more information, visit treasurer.delaware.gov. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Just do it. Nike is the official footwear provider of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Sponsored by the Delaware State Lottery. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Taste the uniqueness of our first-generation German bakery in Delhi. The new Bavarian bakery in Delhi in Dover. Authentic, original creations are made fresh from scratch every day. Enjoy one of our great pastries and signature cakes. Don't forget to bring home our house-made breads, Bavarian rye, sourdough, and fresh sandwich rolls. At our deli, choose from 14 different breads. You deserve only the best. The new Bavarian bakery in Delhi in Dover. With three different investment strategies, DE 529 Education Savings Plan makes it easy and achievable to save for your child's college career. By one of their offices in Middletown, Newark, and Dover. Find out how they can help you save money. Hornets with the ball as we come back. Gary Lang, Coach John Hill at Memorial Hall at Delaware State University. Hornets looking for their first win of the season. Pass stolen away by Jalen Hawkins for Norfolk State. Takes it down and gets the layup. Hornets bring it back down. Martez Robinson left side to Pinky Wiley. Now into the middle. Fregala turns around once three. Hits it off the rim. Won't go. Taken by Hawkins for Norfolk State. He'll bring it down quickly. Drive into the lane. Passes underneath. Blocked shot by Kent. Perfectly done. And then a pass down inside. Stolen away by Chavez for Norfolk State. 
Mustafa Lawrence now being guarded by Robinson. This freshman Robinson has shown his stuff. He's going to be a good one over four years for Delaware State. Here's Hawkins called for traveling. Turn it over to Delaware State. 10-22 left in the half. And a two-point lead right now for the Spartans. Coach talking to him as he comes to the seating area, what we would normally call the bench, but there's no bench. It's chairs that are spread six feet apart. Wiley left side, looking cross-court pass to Fregala. Good pass. Cross-court passes like that in traffic are tough. They get it to Kent. Kent right side, his shot off the rim, and it's taken by Hicks for the Spartans. They bring it down, work it inside, underneath. Chris Ford, and he gets two for Lake, uh, for uh, Norfolk State with a four-point lead now, 17-13. Hornets had tied it up. We've had only one lead change in the game. There's a block from behind. Yeah, and they got him for a charge there. I heard the whistle. I thought it was going to be a, a foul on Norfolk State that they reached in and got him from behind as he went up with it. Chris Sodom into the game for Delaware State now. Waiting for him to show up. Well, actually, he's, uh, he's played. Um, only had uh, four minutes so far this season. It's his second action. He played on the fifth of the month against Coppin State. There's a three-pointer for Jalen Hawkins. After the Hornets tied the game, now they're down by seven, 20 to 13. Right side, jumper, looking for three off the glass. Dominic Fregala kissed it. Well, I'll tell you, if you're going to get kissed, that's the way to kiss it. <laughs> right off the glass and dropped it down in. Joe Bryant. They send it inside to Chavis. Underneath, the ball knocked away and a steal by Delaware State. Here's Fregala down the left side to Wiley. Wiley holds up now, waits for the rest of the team to catch up. Sodom inside, tries to back into the lane. Can't get in, sends it out to Fregala. He thinks about three, but he's got somebody in his face. Now it's Zach Kent with the ball. He goes up with it. It's knocked out of his hands, but he got fouled. And it looks like that one's going to be on Mustafa Lawrence. That'll be his second. Comes with 8.24 left in the half. Now Kent goes out. And coming into the game for Delaware State, it looks like uh, Omari Pete Green came back in. No, check that. Uh, Shaft Clark getting his first action of the day. Good freshman out of Caesar Rodney High School, local product. Clark into Amari Pete Green for Gala, looking for three again. Rolls it around, hits inside the rim, comes back out. Rebounded by Norfolk State. They take it down quickly, working inside, looking for the uh, layup was Jalen Hawkins. And then on the rebound, a foul on Norfolk State. Or was that uh, jump ball simultaneous possession? Yeah, okay, yeah. All right, either way, they get the ball. Fergala works to the middle, gives it off to Wiley, who crosses to the left side, posts up, wants three. Nothing but net for Pinky Wiley. Wiley with two field goals in this game, both from the three-point area. And now we have a foul on Delaware State. And it'll be on Chris Sodom. No, it'll be on Fregala. That's 16 fouls here in the first half. A 
Timeout with 7.53 remaining in the half. It's Norfolk State 20, Delaware State 19. Put Hornet fans, be sure to stop at your local grottos for a great meal and a legendary taste. Grotto Pizza, a proud sponsor of DSU Athletics. Follow Hornets basketball and football this season on HSRN, the voice of HBCU sports. Download the HSRN app to listen anywhere. Visit the App Store or Google Play. Search Heritage Sports Radio. Catch us on the go. ESPN is proud to be the official national broadcast partner of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. For more information on the ESPN family of networks, including ESPN+, Plus, call your local cable operator or satellite provider or log on to ESPN.com. Hey, Hornet fans, please remember that our friends at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Dover on Route 10 near Dover Air Force Base are here to help you with your hotel needs at a discounted rate. Call them at 302-674-3800 or go online at the Delaware State University Hornets page to set up a reservation for a clean and comfortable night. Fred Drake Automotive, Norfolk State with the ball as we come back. Keonze Chavez, left side, jumper, missing. And good rebound there for Delaware State by Shaft Clark. And as he goes up and gets it, he gets fouled. And it'll be Keonze Chavez picking up his first personal. Yeah, he's really crafty. Once, people, once, you, once you get the defensive rebound, he's always around kind of chopping, trying to see if he can knock the ball loose. That time he got caught, though. Um, but you can't blame him. Just kind of trying to create a play for his team. Good size with Shaft Clark in there at 6'3", 200 pounds, a freshman. Amari Pete Green works to the right side of the lane, sends it back out to Wiley on the right side. Wiley looking for the pick from Chris Sodom, doesn't get it. Not executed well. Here's Pete Green stepping forward, and he gets fouled as he goes up. Yeah, that's the second one that this same official has called as a block. It looked like a charge, so he's consistent. Yeah, he's Joe Bryant Jr. Was, was thought he had the, the charge, yeah, he's but consistent. they went the other way. Now the Hornets will inbound it, and a long pass in. Pinky Wiley has to go into the backcourt and get it. Nobody tried to follow him and take it away from Norfolk State, so he had an easy get. Sends it over to Robinson, left side. Wiley from way outside for three, and he got it again. Tell you what, he's feeling good. He's shooting that ball. Hornets go up now, 22-20. Take the lead back with seven minutes left in the half. Yeah, Hornets playing a little 2-3 zone here with this particular lineup with Solomon in the middle. Now they go inside. The ball going to roll a kick there as Jalen Hawkins was trying to get the pass. Second lead change of the game just occurred. Hornets looking very good here, you know. Seems like the time off yep. has paid dividends. They look very fresh. Just need to do it's it for sharp. another 27 minutes here. Yeah, we got to do a complete game, that's for sure. Yep. Good start to the game for them, though. Carter with the ball on the right side. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. He passes off. Now they get it right back to him. And a steal by Delaware State. Good move by Chris, uh, Bauckham to knock the ball away. And Wiley, Ooh. oh, is he feeling it. He's, hey, he's on fire. Pinky Wiley makes it a 25-20 game. And Norfolk State, I think, wants a timeout after that one. No, it was, it was oh. kind of it was a turnover there. They were trying okay. to advance the ball and threw it out of bounds. Okay. Hornets will get it back here now with six and a half to go. And a five-point lead on Norfolk State. Pinky Wiley. Just, uh, he's a howitzer today. He shoots from long range. Yeah, no doubt. He's been shooting the ball better. Ain't no doubt about that. He's having a good season. Driving inside, Amari Pete Green clears it out and gets a layup to make it 27-20 for the Hornets. They almost got caught there. Yeah. 
Wiley coming into the game, leading the team in scoring, and today's game, if he keeps it up, is not going to hurt him in that regard either. A little strong. Underneath, a move by Caligarius. Let's try to get this right. Caligarius. Caligarius. The shot missed. It doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Hornets take it down. A pass inside. Knocked out of bounds by Norfolk State. I thought they said Hornets ball, but it looks like it's going to be Spartans ball. Yeah, both teams that play use a, you know, use a good portion of their bench, just trying to get through the first half, filling each other out. But the Hornets have played it really well, particularly Pinky Wiley. Here's Devontae Carter on the left side, passes it off back to Carter. Carter looks now, works left side of the lane, goes down inside underneath, and we're going to have a foul. They're going to call this one on Omari Pete Green as Chris Ford went up and slammed it home. Yeah, well, you, um, um, Pinky Wilder must have gotten pretty exhausted there because he's really been carrying the Hornets here with the scoring. Now we have to figure out who's going to be able to kind of, you know, keep the pace here. Dominic Fregala hit a three earlier, so he's back into the game. When you don't call, when you don't call glass, though, I don't know. <laughs> they have to call it. We don't. <laughs> Chris Ford missing the foul shot, so it's 27-22 Hornets leading. Now for Gala, thought about three, brought it back inside as he came in. That's a great ball movement by Some, the Hornets there. They're moving the ball from side to side, forcing um, Norfolk State's defense to really stretch itself. And um, they're getting some good looks. I like what I see today. Playing with a lot of composure and sharing the basketball. Joe Bryant Jr. got called for his second foul. That's going to be uh, five team fouls on Norfolk State now in this half. Hornets keep the possession. Martez Robinson over to the right side. DeMarco Bauckham back to Robinson. Inside to Lucas. Lucas sends it back on out. Four seconds on the shot clock for Gallo for three. He, he got it. That's his shot there. He can make that. Nobody near him uncontested and makes it 30-22. to 22. Hornets up by eight. Hornets going man now. Coach Skeeter changing the defense. Carter goes right side to Chavis and a whistle. We have some action away from the ball. I got Fagallo there for a foul. I think he was trying to front the post on, um, on Jenkins. And they kind of got him, I guess, hands a little bit. Got to give him two. Now Pinky Wiley set to come back into the game. And Dominic will go to the bench. He's had some good minutes for this team coming on this year for Delaware State. Well, all of them are beginning to look a little more comfortable in the roles, in the roles that Coach Skeeter has them playing. And, um, you know, we were in Coppin. I, like I said, I thought those were the t best two games they played all year. So it, it, it appears to be somewhat of a carry over here. Um, Jenkins makes the first free throw. Tyrese Jenkins at the line. For Gala, a transfer out of uh, Niagara. He played for the Purple Eagles in the Metro Atlantic. Uh, conference. That's a Division One conference, but made the move here to Delaware State. Yeah, Norfolk. and the second shot is also good Norfolk for showing pressure. Jenkins. Blocked shot by Norfolk State. They bring it down, cross court pass, and it's good. I'll tell you, Norfolk man, they score in bunches. You really have to be careful and take care of the basketball because of. Uh, a long three-pointer or a deflection can turn into a layup on the other end, particularly quick. They go from offense to defense in a hurry. Devontae Carter got the bucket there. Wiley goes into traffic, passes it off to Ron Lucas. Reverse layup for Lucas. Good for two. 32-26. Hornets up by six. Just under four minutes left in the first half here. Jenkins gives it on the right side to Carter. As everything comes to a bit of a halt, players jockeyer for position. Chris Ford giving it back to Carter. Now back to Ford, top of the key. Off to Jenkins. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. 
They're going to get the shot off. Carter just in time, and he nails three. It's a heartbreaker right there. Shot clock running down. Played great defense there, and they end up giving up a three. 32-29 with 3.20 to go in the half. Hornets trying to hold on to this lead now. They worked hard to get it. Led by six, but that three-pointer brought it down to a three-point lead. Wiley on the right side. Turns around. Jumper for two. Missing. And Mari Pete Green couldn't take that uh, rebound away from Tyrese Jenkins. Jenkins sends it left side to Carter. Carter works to the right side now. Guarded by Ron Lucas for Delaware State. Gives it off to Chris Ford. Cord, Ford crossing with uh, Chavis in the middle. Chavis to the left side. Drives underneath. And as he does, he gets fouled. I tell you, the, the Hornets have to be very uh, alert here because... You know, Norfolk, when they drive on strong side, they're always are looking to pass the ball to the back side. DeMarco Balkum called for the foul, and we have a media timeout here with 2.41 left in the first half. Delaware State 32, Norfolk State 29, putting the U in HBCU. Yep, we're HSRN. Get in on the basketball action all season long with sports pick from the Delaware State Lottery. Visit a Delaware Lottery sports retailer or casino sports book today to place your pro and college basketball wagers. Don't miss your chance to make every game a big game with Sports Pick from Delaware Lottery. Visit DELottery.com to find a Sports Pick location near you. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Must be 21 or older. Catch us on the go. ESPN is proud to be the official national broadcast partner of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. For more information on the ESPN family of networks, including ESPN+, Plus. Call your local cable operator or satellite provider or log on to ESPN.com. Want to give your child something they'll never outgrow? Make a contribution to a DE 529 savings plan today. For more information, visit treasurer.delaware.gov. Pride your achievements. Jostin is a proud sponsor of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Hey, MEAC fans, take a hot route by getting a car insurance quote at Geico.com. Find out how much you can save. Geico 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. So, yep, somebody's going to go to the line, and it's Keonze Chavez. And Chavis, transfer out of a Division III school, Colby College. They're in the New England Small College Conference. They're the Mules. And the first shot is good. Chance yeah, well, to pull a team within one. Yeah, Norfolk just keeps coming at you in waves, man. I think probably the biggest takeaway here early Got to take care of the ball. The Hornets got to take care of the ball because if they don't, you know, they're coming at you and trying to score in transition. Missed the second shot. Hornets hold a two-point lead here with 2.35 to go in the half. 32-30. Well, Wiley trying to get out of the backcourt. Sends it over to Robinson. They move it shot. forward. Tough shot, man. Tough Off shot. Off the rim. Goes up high and behind the backboard on the shot by Amir Bennett. Uh, Guess you got to live with it, but I would like to think you can get one a little bit better than that. Seemed like they rushed that just a little bit. Uh, Horn is playing a little 1-2-2 uh, two, two zone Chavis here. Chavis sends it down on the right side. Tyrese Jenkins drops a three. But Zach Kenton has to get out there on that corner. He's on that low block. He has to get out to the corner. And now Norfolk State goes back into the lead. Hornets unable to score down at their end. Chavis takes the outbound pass. Looking for three again on the jumper, and it's Daryl Anderson this time. I just said it. You know, Norfolk goes from defense to offense in a hurry, and they got shooters to go, man. Hornets want to grab a timeout after watching that lead get away. That's the uh, third lead change of the basketball game here. Yeah, that's not good there. They let that lead get away really quick, just not taking good shots. You look at Amir Bennett, takes a three out of the corner, long rebound. They're off and running, and they give up a three in transition. So 
just got to be real mindful of just kind of understanding that whenever you shoot threes, there's always going to be a long rebound. So you got to be ready to get back on defense. Uh, the last couple of times, you know, they just haven't been able to get back in time. And sometimes when you sprint back, a lot of kids always sprint back to the paint as opposed to sprint back finding somebody on the perimeter to pick up. So um, let's see if they can get a score here. You got a minute 54 to go. Norfolk is showing a little full court press here, a 1 2 2 on um, full court press here. Hornets got to take their time and just, you know, and get it across. Putting pressure on the freshman, and he was just cool as he could be. Just passed it on across to Amari Pete Green. Back to Robinson now, and Pinky Wiley works from the left side out toward the middle. Wiley looks inside, sets the play. Robinson, top of the key. Five seconds on the shot clock. Fakes the shot, pulls it over. Wiley with a jumper. Off the rim, didn't go. And he, that's the first miss for Wiley today. Chris Ford gets the rebound for the Spartans. Now it's Chavis looking. And a timeout called by Norfolk State. A reminder, we've been adding all kinds of new programs to HSRN. as it has, Sponsored uh, by the Delaware State Lottery. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? In business, running at peak performance is key. So why not trust the experts at Penske Truck Leasing to keep your trucks running, your business moving, and customers smiling? We're dedicated to providing tailored solutions for all your transportation needs. Go to Penske.com to learn more today. All right, minute 12 here before the half. Norfolk State side out of bounds here. Tyrese Jenkins inbounds it to Chavis. On his playing 2-3 zone. Jen uh, in from the right corner, Devontae Carter through traffic and gets two on the layup. All right, he just drove the ball right through the zone, man. That's not good. 38-32, Norfolk State back in front. Less than a minute left in the first half. Amari Pete Green tries to drive inside. Lost the ball, got it back off the floor. And as he went up for a shot, he got fouled. It's going to be uh, Daryl Anderson. It was a loose ball situation. Amari Pete Green picks it off the deck and, um, and tries to finish it and get hit uh, by Norfolk State. What is it, Jenkins in the act? Or? Yep. Um, oh, Anderson. Anderson, yeah. Pete, um, Omari Pete Green hitting that first foul shot for Delaware State. See if he can get the other one here. Bounces it around the rim, won't fall in. Norfolk State rebounds, 48 seconds left in the half. Chavez now. On his playing, playing zone, 2-3. Chavez calling for play number two. His teammates should know what that is. As they work around, Devontae Carter sends it right side to Anderson. Anderson guarded by Wiley, down to six seconds on the shot clock. Carter just trying to save the ball, gets it to Chavis on the left side as he makes a move That's inside. Great. He got called for traveling. Hornets will get it back. 22.2 seconds left in the first half. That's great defense by the Hornets. As I said before, they've done a really good job here as of late just defending well. You know, sometimes it's having a few miscues and getting the defense a rebound. Miles Carter here coming back in with 22.2 um, .2 and two fouls here, so he has to make sure he doesn't be smart. Just be smart. Hornets taking their time. Wiley brings it down, stands at the logo, and dribbles as they're using up as much clock as they can. Want the, f the final shot of the half. Now it's for Gala, looking for three. Just off to the right. Amari Pete Green underneath, tried for the rebound, and he couldn't get it. Loose ball taken by Chris Ford as time runs out on the first half. They'll go to the locker room with Norfolk State leading by six, 30. Uh, five, rather, 38 to 33 over Delaware State, but a pretty good first half. Great action and a uh, couple lead changes. The Hornets showed some spark at times there, and look like uh, they're they're really going to uh, try to contend here in the second half. Yeah, well, they in the game. You know, you're only talking about what a five-point ball game here, and they've played relatively well. 
Just got to try to make sure that they kind of get take away some of those transition points that Norfolk State is getting on their misses. Hornets actually led by as many as eight points at one point in that first half after trailing for a good portion of it. So we'll see what happens in the second half here. As they go to the locker room, it's Norfolk State 38, Delaware State 33. Second half action coming up shortly. Putting the U in HBCU, we are HSRN. The Good Brothers, proud alumni of Delaware State University and an even prouder sponsor of DSU Athletics. Follow them on Instagram at The Good Brothers LLC. Chef JJ and Chef Gamble are proud to bring you a unique meal each week with a variety of combinations and tastes from the Caribbean. It's a bite you won't regret. With three different investment strategies, DE 529 Education Savings Plan makes it easy and achievable to save for your child's college career. Stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and YouTube for day-to-day -day updates on everything MEAC. Also use the hashtag RespectTheMEAC and hashtag MEAC Nation to see your post reposted. For more information, visit MEACSports.com. Follow Hornets basketball and football this season on HSRN, the voice of HBCU Sports. Download the HSRN app to listen anywhere. Visit the App Store or Google Play. Search Heritage Sports Radio. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Just do it. Nike is the official footwear provider of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Hey, Hornet fans, please remember that our friends at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Dover on Route 10 near Dover Air Force Base are here to help you with your hotel needs at a discounted rate. Call them at 302-674-3800 or go online at the Delaware State University Hornets page to set up a reservation for a clean and comfortable night. Taste the uniqueness of our first-generation German bakery in Delhi. The new Bavarian Bakery in Delhi in Dover. Authentic, original creations are made fresh from scratch every day. Enjoy one of our great pastries and signature cakes. Don't forget to bring home our house-made breads, Bavarian rye, sourdough, and fresh sandwich rolls. At our deli, choose from 14 different breads. You deserve only the best. The new Bavarian Bakery in Delhi in Dover. Get in on the basketball action all season long with sports pick from the Delaware State Lottery. Visit a Delaware Lottery sports retailer or casino sports book today to place your pro and college basketball wagers. Don't miss your chance to make every game a big game with sports pick from Delaware Lottery. Visit DELottery.com to find a sports pick location near you. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Must be 21 or older. Hornet fans, be sure to stop at your local Grotto's for a great meal and a legendary taste. Grotto Pizza, a proud sponsor of DSU Athletics. Want to give your child something they'll never outgrow? Make a contribution to a DE 529 savings plan today for more information.
part of the difference in the game. Points off the bench, 17 for Norfolk State, 13 for Delaware State. That four points, part of that difference. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And, you know, North, uh, um, the Hornets were able to get kind of get a surge there and get up right about 8, 10 points. And I know I want to say it was 11 points they were able to get ahead. Yeah, they were. And, um, and, and again, you know, Norfolk State does such a dynamic job of playing defense and going from defense to offense so quickly it just kind of e evaporated that lead with, you know, in, in no time. But the Hornets have to do a better job of just making sure they get a, a really good shot each time and be a little more conscientious that on those long three-pointers, there's a good chance it's going to be a long rebound and they have to get back on defense so they don't give up any easy ones. You were right that uh, the largest lead of the game for Delaware State was eight points. Norfolk State has the ball here to start the second half. It's going to be Joe Bryant, Jr., feeding underneath and a dunk by Naziah Chambers. His first game action, and he makes a big impression on his bench. 40 to 33 as they fed him underneath. Good pass, almost an alley-oop. Chambers had to go up with it, though. It wasn't up where he could just slam it home. There's Balkum, turnaround jumper underneath, missing. Follow-up, shot by Delaware State. It missed. Loose ball is grabbed by Bryant for Norfolk State. He'll give it off to Tyrese Jenkins, and as he tries to go around Pinky Wiley, Wiley got a nine arm up, kind of give him a little bit of an arm bar. Yeah, it was a kind of little chippy, little chippy because they've kind of let a little more than that get up, go, you know, kind of let them play through it. So Pinky Wiley was kind of wondering, well, you know, you know what what actually happened in that situation, and I guess the fish is going to give him somewhat of an explanation. Yeah, he he. The, the arm stuck out there, and, and I thought it, they could call it for the foul. Pinky's trying to explain. The arm was out there, but I stepped out. I didn't move the arm out. Yeah, and they stopped play here this second ago because um, Kent and uh, one of the players from North State kind of getting a little you know, getting a little pushy, getting a little touchy. Here's Carter for Norfolk State. Sending it around to Chambers. Chambers underneath. He gets uh, has to pass it on out. He couldn't get position. It's Carter. With seven seconds on the shot clock, Carter pulls up, drives left side of the lane, has to go over Kent, can't do it, and it's Balkum on the rebound for Delaware State. Miles Carter brings it down the right side. Carter, looking inside, drives into the lane, puts it up, off the rim, won't go. Carter tried to get his own rebound, it hit his hand and went out of bounds. Yeah, that's Carter's shot. He usually gets to that spot and is able to create some separation and, um, and convert. Just a little short that time. It's Carter now to bring it down for Norfolk State on the left side. Gives it off to Chavis back inside. They tried the alley-oop to Chavis, and Zach Kent in there kind of messing up the vision on it. Now a pass inside blocked by Kent, but Norfolk State gets it back. Bryant sends it baseline to Chavis. He comes back out. Takes it into Naziah Chambers standing in the foul circle who hits a jumper to make it 42-33. Nine-point lead now for Norfolk State. Got to pick it up defensively. And that's the largest lead they have had in this game. Zach Kent for three. Got it. It's a big shot. Yeah, he's been trying all afternoon to get it, and he nailed that one to make it 42-36. 17.40 left in the game. Plenty of time here in Dover. Gary Lang along with Coach John Hill. Chambers to Carter. And a turnover by Norfolk State, an offensive foul. Yeah, a bad, bad pick there. Must have been a moving pick. Tyrese Jenkins getting his first foul. Isaiah Chambers was called for the foul. His first of the game. He didn't play at all in the first half. So he has four points and a foul here in the second half. Balkum down in the right corner, sends it out to Wiley. They'll work it into the foul circle to Ron Lucas and a whistle. Looks like Kent might have gotten fouled inside. Tyrese Jenkins. Picking up his first foul. Possession foul, inbounded for Delaware State. Kent 
Gives it to Wiley down on the right corner. He sends it out to Carter. Carter working inside now backs out toward the logo. Over to Wiley. Wiley drops it into Kent. Turnaround jumper by Zach Kent. He didn't have the range in the first half, but he's got two now here in the second half to make it 42-38. That's what they needed, though, because somebody else has to help Tinky Wiley carry this team. So that's a good look. Wiley with 12 points in the first half. A bunch of three-pointers. And a foul on the play. Ron Lucas trying to block. And he got uh, the hand of the shooter. That'll be two on Ron Lucas now in the game. Stops the clock. 16.45 left to go. Pinky Wiley talking to the officials yet. Pretty engaging. Well, he's trying he, to get uh, an understanding so they can kind of basically adjust to how the game is being called. Yep. And, he's, you know, he's not trying to ag agitate the officials, but just for clarity and understanding. Yeah, he's got a very uh, engaging way when he talks to the officials. And Isaiah Chambers... Shooting the foul shot, barely touched the front of the rim. Three or of four from the foul line on the season coming into today, but that one was a, a not a very good effort. That the second shot goes in, so make him five of six on the season. Chambers with five points, 43-38. Good move underneath there as Ron Lucas tries for the uh, hook shot, and he gets fouled. No, it was Miles Carter. Yep, you're right. Chambers now picking up his second personal foul. You're right. I was looking right at Carter, thinking Carter, and said instead Lucas. Yeah, Miles is pretty tough to guard in those situations where he's coming right at you because he can finish with his left or right. Well, more his, important, he's just so athletic and being able to, get, to, to play with such bend to get to the basket. And if you don't stop him, chances are you're going to foul him. And, and he, you and know, he knows so that. He'll go after it. He's so efficient, too, man. You know, he makes his free throws. He really makes the most of his um, of his opportunities. And, um, you know, one of the leading scorers on this team. He made the first shot and dropped the second one in to make it 43-40. Carter now with six points on the game. Hornet showing pressure here. 2-2-1, two, two, full court, dropping back into man. Two, going zone here, 2-3 two, zone. Carter coming into today, second on the team in scoring and probably will be at the end of the day as well. Shot from down in the corner for three. That's great execution now. That's great execution by Norfolk. Joe Bryant Jr., 46-40. They got those three points back. There's three for Delaware State. Zach Kent, 46-43. Kent is red hot. He's red hot. You got to let him keep shooting. Eight points now, all in the second half here for Zach Kent. He blocks inside. Keeps uh, the shot from going off for Norfolk State. There's a shot for three, missing by Keonze Chavis. Kent's there for the rebound. It's like night and day here between the first there, half and the second half. He goes for three on that one, and as he does, we have a foul on the rebound attempt. It'll be Ron Lucas who gets called for the foul. That'll be number three for him on the afternoon and a timeout with 15 and a half minutes still to go. Yes. It's Norfolk State 46, Delaware State 43. Putting the U in HBCU, we're HSRN. Catch us on the go. ESPN is proud to be the official national broadcast partner of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. For more information on the ESPN family of networks, including ESPN+, Plus. Call your local cable operator or satellite provider or log on to ESPN.com. With three different investment strategies, DE 529 Education Savings Plan makes it easy and achievable to save for your child's college career. Pride your achievements. Jostin is a proud sponsor of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Hey, MEAC fans, take a hot route by getting a car insurance quote at GEICO.com. Find out how much you can save. GEICO, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. In business, running at peak performance is key. So why not trust the experts at Penske Truck Leasing to keep your trucks running, your business moving, and customers smiling? We're dedicated to providing tailored solutions for all your transportation needs. Go to Penske.com to learn more today. 
MEAC fans gear up for the season at Academy Sports and Outdoors. From jerseys and hats to grills and tents, Academy Sports and Outdoors has everything you need for game day. Visit any of the 259 stores across 15 states or shop online at academy.com. Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods and outdoor retailer of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Gives it off to Chavis. Chavis works to the right side to Jenkins. Jenkins back out to the middle to Carter. Carter sends it down on the left corner. Bryant looking for three and drops it in. They ran the same play back to back and got three. Same result. Same play, same result. Back to a uh, six-point lead for Norfolk State, 49-43. Zach Kent's pass batted away. Goes into the backcourt, but it was touched last by Norfolk State, so no backcourt violation as Miles Carter goes and gets it. Carter trying to work inside. Passes into Amir Bennett. Bennett couldn't handle the pass. Got loose. Norfolk State grabs a hold of it. Now left side looking for three again. Joe Bryant, Jr. Oh, he's already all, he's all on of a fire, sudden man. found he's the range. Somebody got to get to him. He's on fire. That's three for three nine in point, the last minute and a half. Yeah, nine-point lead now off of those threes for Carter. 52 to 43. Wiley almost lost it. Managed to get back and get it back. Zach Kent drives into the paint. Gets fouled. And it's going to be in the act of shooting. Isaiah Chambers. That gives him three. And he didn't play in the first half. In the first five minutes and 43 seconds of the second half, he has committed three fouls. Now Zach Kent goes to the line for Delaware State and Kent on the season, six of 11 from the line coming into the game today. That's 54 and a half percent. So Chambers, that's his third? Yeah. Kent missing that first shot. That's been part of uh, the game that's missing for Zach Kent is foul shooting. Yeah, he struggled a bit there, which is really strange because he has such a dynamic touch. You know, and um, you know, sometimes even when he's making shots, he gets a little overzealous and probably a take one that he probably should just let the ball move around a little bit and come back to him. Off the back of the rim, won't go on that one either. Missed two shots there. Get to Joe Bryant, man. Got to get to this kid. Bryant on the right side, working with Chavis. Now back to Bryant. Bryant moves inside. Shot one at three there, wouldn't go. And a foul. Chris Ford tries for the rebound. And they're going to get him for reaching over the top. His first. Coach was just kind of letting Joe Bryant here have a heat check. Going one-on-one -on -one there with Kent. North is showing a little full-court pressure, 2-2-1. Just showing. Horner's got to take the time and just get it across. Montez Robinson brings it across, sends it over to Wiley on the right side. Pinky Wiley moves to the middle. Looks inside. Now works, looks over to the right side, but passes left to Miles Carter. They go inside to Kent in the foul circle. Turnaround Ooh. jumper. It's a big time shot, man. A turnaround mid range foul line J there by Kent. Gets him into double figures, 52 45. Hey, not really even facing up, but knowing and then feeling it, letting it go. Mustafa Lawrence over on the right side to Bryant. Back to Lawrence. Lawrence, top of the key, passes down in the left corner to Chavis. Chavis works back out, gets it out to Lawrence. Back to Chavis, left side. Down to six seconds on the shot clock. Working inside underneath, it's Chris Ford. As he goes up trying to get the layup, he gets fouled. Yeah, I don't know if Ken is a little exhausted right now, but he just let Ford dribble right, you know, just kind of drive right by him there. He's got to kind of put up a line of defense a lot stronger than that. Nope. Amir, Amir Bennett got called for his second personal. He's rotating over trying to help. Chris Ford missing that first shot at the line. That helps. Ford, a junior, 6'8", 240 pounds. Takes up some space in there, doesn't he? Oh, he's a big guy. You know, they got really good size from top to bottom. They do. Norfolk does. Yeah. Ford's second shot is good. Giving him five on the afternoon. Norfolk is keeping the pressure up. Still showing this 2-2-1 full court press. With Last eight, time they dropped back in the zone. With an eight-point lead, 53-45. 
Wiley right side. They'll double up on him, but he gets it down to Zach Kent on the right side. Sends it inside to Miles Carter. He gets up a layup. It won't go. Rolls around in and out. A jump ball as we have a tie up underneath. Hornets get possession of it. Corner has possession arrow there. Yep. Wiley will check out now. Dominic Fregala will come in. That's a good rebound there by Amir Bennett. It was. He fought for that one. Robinson sends it in to Amir Bennett. Bennett goes up for the layup and gets fouled. That's right. You know, he's rewarded here with the foul, so hopefully he can go to the line and make both of these free throws just to kind of keep the game close here. We're right at an eight-point deficit. And got to find a way to keep it close here with 12.55 to go. Last year against Norfolk State in the first game that they played against each other, February 8th of last year, Bennett did not score in that game, scored one point against Norfolk State on March 2nd. So he has uh, topped last year's efforts. Makes both free throws this time. You got to like it. Yeah, six points in the game. Keeps it another six-point deficit here. 53-47, 12.50 left in the game. Plenty of time here for the Hornets to try to work back into the lead. Now it's Mustafa Lawrence. As he goes to the top of the key, passes it to the right side to Jalen Hawkins. They work it around inside. Hicks, loose ball, picked up underneath by Chris Ford. And Ford took a couple of steps with the ball. They called traveling, turn it over to Delaware State. So he always looks like he's traveling because he just kind of swings his arms every time he catches the ball. So that time they actually called him. Not sure if he traveled, but he looked like he traveled. <laughs> it works for us. Either way. Yeah. Carter to Bennett down along the baseline, sends it back on out to Martez Robinson. Talk about that uh, freshman and what he's done so far this year. Down to Fergala in the left corner. He'll send it back out. Miles Carter, six seconds on the shot clock. Miles Carter with a three. I tell you, this kid is so efficient, man. He really, really makes the most of all of his opportunities. 53 50 as Miles Carter's up to nine points in the game. It's a flat out gamer. Mm hmm. Gets better every game. We saw that last year, and we're seeing it this year as well. Good senior out of Philadelphia. Clear it out to Mar uh, Lawrence. Goes to the right side to Hawkins, who sends it back out to Lawrence. Two seconds on the shot clock. He hits it off the back of the rim. Zach Kent tried for the rebound, couldn't control it. Saved oh. it from going out of bounds. Threw it back in, and Keonze Chavez got the loose ball, took it up for the layup. 55-50. Yeah. It's a great defense there, and they end up still giving up a, a two-pointer there. Shot three for Martez Robinson, his first bucket of the game. 55-53. We've got a good contest on our hands here. The Hornets are staying close. Yeah, making a game of it here on this Saturday afternoon in Dover. Going zone. Lawrence down in the left corner. Hawkins wants three. Won't go out of bounds. Trying to see who who they say it went out of bounds. We'll have a chance to figure it out. We have a media timeout here. 10 minutes, 46 seconds left in this contest here in Dover, Delaware. Norfolk State 55, Delaware State 53. Putting The Good Brothers, proud alumni of Delaware State University and an even prouder sponsor of DSU Athletics. Follow them on Instagram at The Good Brothers LLC. Chef JJ and Chef Gamble are proud to bring you a unique meal each week with a variety of combinations and tastes from the Caribbean. It's a bite you won't regret. Hey, Hornet fans, please remember that our friends at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Dover on Route 10 near Dover Air Force Base are here to help you with your hotel needs at a discounted rate. Call them at 302-674-3800 or go online at the Delaware State University Hornets page to set up a reservation for a clean and comfortable night. Stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and YouTube for day-to-day -day updates on everything MEAC. Also use the hashtag RespectTheMEAC and hashtag MEACNation to see your post reposted. For more information, visit MEACSports.com.
Mary Lang along with Coach John Hill. They inbound it, get it out to Jalen Hawkins, drives to the paint, takes a jumper, it misses. Battle for the ball underneath, goes out of bounds off of the Hornets. Norfolk State will keep the ball with 11 seconds left on their shot clock. Inbounded and underneath to Chris Ford. He was hoping for a high one that he could take up and dunk. Didn't quite, yeah, quite work that way. That was pretty good execution. Nice catch, come down, gather himself, and go back up and finish. 57-53, back to a four-point lead for Norfolk State. Good feed underneath. Amir Bennett, his shot blocked from behind as he put it up. Chris Ford knocked it out of bounds. Have to adjust the face shield here. You may hear some strange sounds, and that's vinyl or plastic or whatever this thing's made out of, bouncing around. Miles Carter working inside for the Hornets, gets it off to Martez Robinson. Fadeaway jumper in the foul circle, and he hit it. That's a shot there, a little mid-range. Does a great job knocking that shot down. 57-55, Hornets back within two. At a critical time here. To try to uh, pull even and maybe take a lead from Norfolk State. A turnover would help. Lawrence. Gives it to Hicks. Hicks, as Devontae Carter works inside, drives the paint, and gets uh, it. Let him drive right down the middle of the lane. Somebody's got to step up and stop that penetration. 59-55. Robinson now on the right side. Works around Amir Bennett. Robinson losing it and trying to save it Amari Pete Green, but couldn't get to it. Knocked out of bounds off of Norfolk State. Hornets will keep the ball here. They'll have 16 seconds on the shot clock as they do it. And the question from the bench of Norfolk State was, what happened on that play? And the officials indicating that it went out of bounds off the knee of Chris Ford. Hornets inbound it. Get it into Ronald Lucas. Robinson comes in after throwing it into Lucas. They get it to him. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Carter looking, looking, working left side. Gets it inside and a good pass to Ron Lucas. They closed on him but committed the foul before the shot clock ran out. It's a good and the call. Hornets got a break on that one. Is it one and one or on the baseline? Tyrese Jenkins committed the foul. That resets the clock shock to 20 seconds for Delaware State. 9.02, still in the game. And uh, we'll have a one and one because that is the seventh team foul on Norfolk State. So Ronald Lucas at the line. He's played in all seven games for the Hornets this season, started six. And he hits the first, gets the second. He's a pretty good free throw shooter there. He is. Hornets trying to pull within two here. Lucas setting. Missed the second one. It bounces around and Amir ba uh, um, uh, Omari Pete Green trying for the loose ball as it came off, ran through and stepped on the line. So. Norfolk State will get the ball now with a three-point lead. Horn is showing a little pressure here, 2-2-1, two, two, or either what is the full court man-to-man. Now they're showing a little 2-2-1. Two, two, Carter brings it down quickly, now pulls up after crossing the center court line. Over to Chris Ford, now left side, Tyrese Jenkins. Jenkins back to Ford, Ford at the top of the key. Crossing to Hawkins. Hawkins... Got a foul, and it's an offensive foul. Chris Ford called for it. Turn it over to Delaware State. And the Hornets with a chance to pull closer here, down by three. 8.44 to play. Got a ball game here. The Hornets is in it. It's all about finishing. 
eight minutes in is a, usually a ball game within a ball game. Be a great lift for the season to be able to pull off their first win of the season here. For Gala wants three, just wide to the that's, left. That's a tough shot, man. That was. Two on one here, and the layup goes in for Mustafa Lawrence. 61-56. Carter, top of the key for three. Drained it, Miles Carter. Tell you what, Carter, man, he's tough, man, and so efficient. Dozen points for him today, 61-59, and a timeout with 8-11 left in this contest. It's a two-point game, 61-59. Norfolk State holding on to the lead. Get in on the basketball action all season long with sports pick from the Delaware State Lottery. Visit a Delaware Lottery sports retailer or casino sports book today to place your pro and college basketball wagers. Don't miss your chance to make every game a big game with sports pick from Delaware Lottery. Visit delottery.com to find a sports pick location near you. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Must be 21 or older. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Just do it. Nike is the official footwear provider of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Want to give your child something they'll never outgrow? Make a contribution to a DE 529 savings plan today. For more information, visit treasurer.delaware.gov. Taste the uniqueness of our first-generation German bakery in Delhi, the new Bavarian bakery in Delhi in Dover. Authentic, original creations are made fresh from scratch every day. Enjoy one of our great pastries and signature cakes. Don't forget to bring home our house-made breads, Bavarian rye, sourdough, and fresh sandwich rolls. At our deli, choose from 14 different breads. You deserve only the best. The new Bavarian Bakery in Delhi in Dover. Sponsored by the Delaware State Lottery. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Hornet fans. Twenty percent of the game still to play. Mustafa Lawrence for Norfolk State works to the right side to Joe Bryant. Oh man! There that's you go. A... Oh, nice layup underneath and coming down hard and and uh, looks like an ankle injury for Mustafa Lawrence as he grabs that right ankle. Came down awkwardly on it, and the whistles to stop play here. Trainer slow to go out. Coach went out, talked to him for a moment, said, stay down here. Must have came down on somebody else's foot. Yeah. That's usually and what you happens. Can, you can twist it that way. Yeah, but I tell you, that was a bad defensive um, possession there. Um, but Pinky Wilder let the gentleman, you know, pass and cut across his face, and they gave it to him back on a give and go, and he was able to finish at the basket. So you got to try to make sure you – you know, buckle down and, and defensively be really solid so that you don't let the game get away from you because you don't defend. Morgan State's, uh, yeah, Norfolk State's trainer. I'm, I'm Morgan State, we had them in the early game. Norfolk State's trainer out there, and they'll get uh, Mustafa Lawrence up and assist him to the side. Yeah, it must be pretty bad, this little ankle injury here. Um, for Mustafa because um, he's having to be carried off. Yeah, he's and putting... it must have looked pretty ugly too because everybody kind of, kind of, wow, you know, they kind of there was a huge reaction there as well. All right, that that gives us a timeout here. We've got a media timeout with 7:55 left to play in this game, and the score remains uh, Norfolk State 63, Delaware State 59. We'll take this break. Putting the U in HBCU. We're HSRN. Catch us on the go. ESPN is proud to be the official national broadcast partner of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. For more information on the ESPN family of networks, including ESPN Plus, call your local cable operator or satellite provider or log on to ESPN.com. With three different investment strategies, DE 529 Education Savings Plan makes it easy and achievable to save for your child's college career. Pride your achievements. Jostin is a proud sponsor 
of the Mideastern Athletic Conference. Hey, MEAC fans, take a hot route by getting a car insurance quote at GEICO.com. Find out how much you can save. GEICO 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hey, Hornet fans, please remember that our friends at the Microtel Inn and Suites in Dover on Route 10 near Dover Air Force Base are here to help you with your hotel needs at a discounted rate. Call them at 302-674-3800 or go online at the Delaware State University Hornets page to set up a reservation for a clean and comfortable night. Come back here to play. Get a basket right here. Hopefully. We do. Coach, um, um, Coach Skeeter is drawing up something here to get a good shot. Down by four. Martez Robinson. Hornets rotating around quickly. Pinky Wally into the lane. Can't get it to go. Came up just a bit short. They blocked him off. And then Norfolk State grabbed the loose ball. As we come down the court, Wiley compounds his earlier error and commits a foul out at midcourt. Yeah, I think he was hoping to get a foul on that drive there, but uh, he was a little out of control, so the officials were not going to bail him out. That's only the fifth team foul for Delaware State in this half, so it's a possession foul. Norfolk State gets 25 seconds back on the shot clock and works it down. Now it's Tyrese Jenkins from outside for three. Yeah, we're having a defensive lapse right here in the early part of this eight minutes, and we've got to figure out how to pull it back together. Norfolk State back in front by seven, 66-59. Robinson steps into the arc, now comes back out, works top of the key, gives it off to Carter. Carter rotates right side, Wiley on the cross. He'll take it left side. Five seconds on the shot clock. Miles Carter wants three. Off the rim, won't go. Kent got screened out on the rebound attempt, and Norfolk State took the ball away. Nicely reached in from behind. Miles Carter reaching in from behind to knock the ball away. A steal by Delaware State, and a foul. This will be on Jalen Hawkins. Check that. Devontae Carter, his first. It's just a regular foul, I take it, because if it was an offensive foul, they would, um, they would not be shooting. Um, Hornets are in the bonus. Yep. Kent will get an opportunity to shoot with no time expiring off the clock. Chance to get us a, a two points closer. We'll cut that lead from seven down to five. Shooting the one and one. He has to make the first here. And he does. He's got a good touch from the line. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the Hornets have been playing better, man. They've really played some good basketball. Their last three contests, including this one, you know, you've seen signs of them basically just kind of gradually coming together here. A lot of new faces on this team this year, and, and it takes a little bit to bring it together, and, and you don't have as many games. The schedule isn't as, uh, the same. Uh, they should have maybe uh, twice as many games at this point in the season as they have right now. Yeah, the, but <clears throat> the, Horn the Hornets are got to find a way defensively, man, to kind of get some stops here. 66-61 right now, Norfolk State. Chavis, baseline, sends it back on out. Jenkins wants three, and Jenkins got three. And this kid is shooting a cover off the ball, man. It's incredible. 15 yeah. points for him in my scorebook. I mean, they got to find a way to find him, man. Carter trying to go around traffic. He gets fouled. It'll be Isaiah Chambers. He came right into the game a moment ago and now picked up his fourth foul that quickly. And that's the 10th team foul on Norfolk State. Sending Miles Carter to the line for the Hornets. I tell you, coming into the contest, Jenkins only averaging four points. And I mean, he's carrying the load today for the most part. Him and um, Joe Bronk. Miles Carter, eighth in the MEAC in scoring with averaging 12.8 points per game as the afternoon began. And Carter missed the first shot. Got the second one to win, though, 69-62. And he is above his average of 12.8 per game. He has 14 now. It'll be Carter, Devontae Carter, for Norfolk State with the ball. Back out at the logo at center court. Looking inside, drives right side, sends it down on the right side to yes, Tyrese kids. Jenkins. Three shots in a row from three-point range from Jenkins and nailed him. This kid is shooting him out of here, man. 
They got to find a way to get somebody on Jenkins. Ten point lead now as a result of that, 72-63. And a turnover by Delaware State. As the Hornets go down now by nine with five and a half to go. Threw the ball away, threw it away. Yep, stolen away by Miles Carter. He put the shot up, it missed. Pinky Wiley's there to grab the loose ball. Regala looking for three, off the rim, won't go, and it's grabbed by Nazia Chambers. And they're gonna call a foul here on Norfolk State. Carter. Devontae Carter called for the foul. That's a good break because they thought they had that rebound. Yeah, sending they, Miles Carter back to the line. Got to find a way to come up with some stops here. 524 to go. Miles Carter, you know, has an opportunity to cut this to what um, seven? If he makes both free throws. He made the first, so it's a an eight point difference right now. This is game number seven for Miles Carter, fourth start of the year. Hit the front of the rim, bounced it back off the backboard and in. 72-65, Miles Carter, 16 points in my scorebook here. Shot by Norfolk State and missing. Uh, Came out to Vontae Carter, slashed through there and got the loose ball. They got to get the rebound. Need some defensive stops right now for the Hornets. Yep. Now Miles Carter comes out on Devontae Carter. They give it to Tyrese Jenkins. He works his way in and gets fouled on the way in. They're going to call this foul on Martez Robinson. He has a couple to give. That's his first. I think the Hornets are one foul away from putting Norfolk in the bonus as well. Yep, that's the 16 foul now. Keonze Chavez inbounds it. Looked like an extra step there by Devontae Carter. He got away with it on the inbound pass in the shot. Ball knocked out of bounds by the Hornets. Norfolk State will keep it with 16 seconds left on their shot clock. Chavis, the guard, redshirt senior from Chesapeake, Virginia, to send it in. Gets it in cleanly to Joe Bryant. They tie him up in the corner. He gives it off to Chavis. Chavis brings it out. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Trying to get around for Gala. Can't. Zach Kent tries Can't to pick him up. Oh. oh. Just ran past everybody. Well, for Gallo, you know, he was really contesting him, but then he allowed him to drive right by him. So you got to be able to contain to keep people in front of you because if you don't, you know, you may get some rotation on the help defense, and then again, you may not. In that situation, there was no help defense. Got the media timeout here with 4.45 left to play. It's Norfolk State 74, Delaware State 65, putting the UNHBCU. We're HSRN. The Good Brothers, proud alumni of Delaware State University and an even prouder sponsor of DSU Athletics. Follow them on Instagram at The Good Brothers LLC. Chef JJ and Chef Gamble are proud to bring you a unique meal each week with a variety of combinations and tastes from the Caribbean. It's a bite you won't regret. Action here, Martez Robinson hitting for Delaware State to make it 74-67. We have 4.20 to go. Hornets can still get back in this thing. Nice steal on the pass inside. Miles Carter anticipated that one, got up, took it away, brought it down to the other end, pulled up in the foul circle, and took the jumper and got it. It's a big steal, though. That's a big steal. They needed that. Yeah, they were down by nine. They got the bucket, and then the steal makes it a five-point difference, 74 to 69. Going inside, Devontae Carter puts it up and in. Yeah, just can't give up layups, though, man. 76-69. 
Pinky Wiley to the right side. Drives right side of the paint. Gets it to go up, hit off the rim, and drop in. Wiley with 14 in the game. That's not smart. Pinky makes a foul 94 feet from the basket. Carter's going to get a chance to go to the free throw line and add um, add to Norfolk State's lead. Got to play smarter than that. You got 329, and you only got a five-point deficit. You want to just play solid defense and force Norfolk to have to make shots. Wiley with 14 points in the game. He had uh, 12 in the first half. So that's his first basket here of the second half. And here's that final media timeout of the game that we're going to get with 329 left to play and a five-point difference. 76 for Norfolk State, 71 for the Hornets. Putting to you in HBCU, we are HSRN. Get in on the basketball action all season long with sports pick from the Delaware State Lottery. Visit a Delaware Lottery sports retailer or casino sports book today to place your pro and college basketball wagers. Don't miss your chance to make every game a big game with sports pick from Delaware Lottery. Visit delottery.com to find a sports pick location near you. Delaware Lottery. Want to play? Must be 21 or older. Stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and YouTube for day-to-day -day updates on everything MEAC. Also use the hashtag RespectTheMEAC and hashtag MEAC Nation to see your post reposted. For more information, visit MEACSports.com. Want to give your child something they'll never outgrow? Make a contribution to a DE 529 savings plan today. For more information, visit treasurer.delaware.gov. We come back here, Norfolk State's Devontae Carter will be at the foul line. He has, uh, in my scorebook, 11 points on the day. Been a factor here in this stretch drive for Norfolk State. Yeah, the Hornets got to figure out how to, you know, basically get some stops here. You know, you, you definitely, you don't ever want, um, you know, your opponent to be able to add points with no time expiring off the clock, particularly when you're trying to fight a deficit here. So both teams are in the bonus, um, coming down the back stretch of this, this um, last um, 329. And Carter hits on both shots. 13 on the day for him, 78-71. Hornets trying to break that deficit, but Norfolk State keeps holding it back at seven. Now it's Martez Robinson driving inside. Sends it down in the corner to Miles Carter. He gets it off to Pinky Wiley. One at three, wouldn't go. Hornets couldn't control the rebound. It goes to Norfolk State. Yeah, that was a good defense possession there by Norfolk. Now the Hornets got to figure out how to make sure they get a good stance here without giving up any more points. Dominic Fregala trying to guard Devontae Carter. Fregala looking they'll double up on him, but... That left Isaiah Chambers all alone. Pass to Chambers. He went down in the right corner to Joe Bryant Jr. He took it inside, tried to get the short jumper, and got fouled in the attempt. Yeah, Coach Jones is doing a really nice job from Norfolk here, just kind of dictating the possessions here, you know, making sure that he gets the ball in the right people's hands so that he has an opportunity to, to add to their lead. Um, and they've been very patient, too, milking the shot clock and basically trying to exploit the defense at the, the back half of the shot clock. Miles Carter picks up number three on the game. Joe Bryant Jr., a junior, misses the first shot. Back in February on the 8th, he scored 20 points against Delaware State. Then on March the 2nd, he scored only nine on the Hornets. Bringing Kent back in, hopefully that, that will help to spur your offense, particularly you may need a three or two, but you just got to make sure that they're good shots. Second shot is good for Joe Bryant Jr. He has a dozen on the day. Martez Robinson 
Trying to uh, get past the center court. Pressure in the back court put on by Tyrese Jenkins. Now Robinson into the foul circle. Passes back out to Miles Carter. Carter drives left side of the paint, puts it up, gets fouled. And Miles Carter will go to the line for the Hornets. Coach is upset with somebody, man. He was ready to run Ronald Lucas in. I'm guessing, only guessing is Kent. Kent standing in the backcourt yeah. while Carter goes to the foul line. Yeah, right now you got to figure out how you're going to, um, first you need these free throws, but you got to come up with some defensive stops. Miles Carter having a pretty good game here as he hits that one. He'll get the second shot here. And he gets both. Got both of them. Important, 78-73, Miles Carter. 20 uh, points in my book. One has got to have a stop right here. Mm -hmm. Devontae Carter now for Norfolk State. It's a 79-73 game with 2.20 to play. Devontae Carter sends it down in the left corner. All alone Woo! for three, it's Tyrese Jenkins. Jenkins he has, has been a burner. He's had 12 points here, all from behind the three the second half. And I have him at 23 on the day. Miles Carter spins in the lane, sends it out to Zach Carter for three on the right side. Zach Kent, rather. I'll tell you what, I'm man. getting used to saying Carter here, <laughs> both teams, and it was Zach Kent. He does a great job shooting the basketball. A bunch of threes here today for him. Well, he's got a good touch, you know that. He has a baker's dozen in the score column. Got to get a stop right here. You can't give up a layup. Devonde Carter drives left side of the lane, gets the basket, and a trip to the line. Well, he called it on the floor, no basket. Oh, okay. All right. Is this going to be uh, gonna Ron be Lucas? Free throws. Ron Lucas on the fourth foul of the game for him. And Devonte Carter goes back to the line. And he's been pretty good from there today. Yeah, well, they've just been, you know, Norfolk has done a good job here down the back stretch here these last three, three, four minutes just kind of dictating the shots that they want. Um, and you definitely don't want to give up a layup, and that's just what happened. But more importantly, you know, Norfolk has been making their free throws down the back stretch here. Yeah. Carter thought that was the, <laughs> the, well, everybody did. the free throw to the three point play, but he's just now learning. It's that, a one uh, and they one. They called it on the floor, and it's a two shot foul. Yeah, he didn't get the two, but he uh, shot the first end of the one and one. Everybody kind of reacted as if it was the only shot he was going to get, even though they announced the one and one. That one bounces off the rim, won't fall in. Kent there for the rebound for seven, the Hornets. Seven-point game here, minute 32. 83-76. Hornets looking for three on the shot by Fregala. It misses. Uh, it just Jenkins. seems like the shot was rushed a little bit, you know. Yeah, know. Jenkins got the loose ball for the Spartans. Hornets need to get the ball back here. Is this time now to maybe foul, but not this guy. Not Carter. Not Devontae Carter. Oh, well, they got him on a violation there. Yeah, Back carried. and forth, he yeah, carried he it. Carried it. Yep. So a turnover to Delaware State. A minute and nine to play. Still got time. Yeah, if now, you can get a basket here, whatever it is, it's, you know, you're down to a one possession game. Pinky Wiley has had the range from three points, and a three would help him out a whole lot right now. He's going to shoot it. Wiley, rotation on it, hits off the rim, won't go. Got a foul. Isaiah Chambers got, got the rebound. Yeah, you need a foul here right now, and they're not doing it. Got they're letting foul. Norfolk State take the ball down court and pass it. Got a foul. You got a foul. And they're not doing it. They're, they're just playing this out here. 42 seconds left. It's not smart at all. And uh, let too much time expire, especially when being down. Down seven by seven. Points. Yeah, they should have fouled 30 seconds ago, <laughs> or, or 20 seconds ago. Ball game. Yeah, there's a three by Joe Bryant Jr. to make it 15 for him, and it's an 86-76 game. Missed the opportunity there to stop things when they didn't foul. Well, I just think you mismanaged the clock there because you know you're down, you're down seven and you're really trying to take that time that's remaining and turn it into as many possessions as you can. 
That means setting some traps. Hopefully you can get them to turn it over. If you can't get them to turn it over, maybe committing some fouls and being deliberate about committing fouls on people that you know that are kind of skeptical, you know, foul shooters mm -hmm. so that they may miss one and you get a chance to add, you know, take points off of the deficit. But just to allow all of that time to elapse from the clock without any strategic, you know, or mindset or, or plan or just not implementing anything, you know, it's kind of, you know, yeah, and, and you know, hard to put an explanation to it. If you really. look at it on paper, Devonte uh, Carter, who's been in there shooting the foul shots, came into the game 52.6 percent from the foul line. But he's been lights out today. Yeah, he's played. Uh, he's played dynamic, and, and not to mention Jenkins. Jenkins has played. I mean, just I mean, out of his mind today, man. He's made threes from all over the floor. Yeah, and Devonte Carter's done it at the foul line. So here's Fregala down the court. Throw the Hornets. They'll try to work it in quickly. Goes for the layup. Comes up short. Norfolk State gets the ball. They immediately foul. Guess who? Devontae Carter. And then, you know, that's kind of a foul that should have been had maybe about another 20, 25 seconds ago. At least. When they had the ball, you know, Norfolk had the ball the last time. Yeah. Wiley commits the foul. It's four on the day for him. And, and, and it becomes a really bad foul, too, because now you only got 24.3 remaining in. You know, it's not a it's not a ten point um, ten point play. And Devonte Carter won't miss from the line in the book. So now you got eleven point deficit. Uh, Fouling now just only makes your you know the deficit of your loss increase. Devonte Carter missing the second shot. Kent's up for the rebound for Delaware State. Wiley brings it down quickly. Drives, puts it left side. Kent wants three. Too strong. Came off. Norfolk State gets the loose ball rebound. They'll bring it down and, and just run out the clock here as Keonze Chavez will dribble. And Norfolk State's going to go out of here today with an 11-point lead, an 11-point win on Delaware State. Hornets were game for until about the last four minutes of this contest, and then they let it slip away. Too many fouls and uh, some, some uh, miscues on shooting by Delaware State.